far as a solo is concerned, um, the obvious candidate is to use F sharp um, Aeolian or F sharp natural minor. It's a pretty quiet and relaxed part of the track, so it's not a good place to go absolutely bonkers and fly about like a lunatic. Um, on the other hand, um, try to use a few sort of techniques just to show that you can do them. So maybe if, if you've done a few sweet picking patterns or a bit of tapping, a few legatos. Um, if you've noticed at the back of the book, they, they, they mention players like Satriani and Vi and Johnson and so on. So the kind of thing that you'd associate with them, um, put in the odd one just to show that you've, you've thought about that kind of thing. Um, one of the things you might notice I was doing as I played through this was there are a few places where there's a kind of change of mood and so you may well want to change your volume a bit, um, change your pickups to reflect whether it's gone from being quite aggressive and assertive to being more relaxed and, and, and so on like. Um, and coming back to the solo again, you might have noticed I put some uh, um, some digital delay on. It was in in the neck within the line. Um, and just to kind of give it a, a an extra sort of full quality. And I stuck a little bit on the end just for a kind of cheeky um, farewell to the piece. So that's pretty well it. Um, there's lots of detail in this one, and as with all these things, the more detail that you can get right as well as making it your own sort of feel and your own character and quality of the piece, the more points you should get for it.